Okay. Oh, nice. We got some people. Sorry. Just had to go shut my door. What's up, everybody? Who we got in the chat? Lego J Bricks, Sergeant Spears, Jawson72. Welcome to Carb Studios. Kevin Riddell. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. So things are super messy right now. Um, so before I get into the building, we're going to have to do some cleaning and organizing. I've I've been doing a lot of brainstorming and just kind of random building this past week because I was waiting on parts. So things are a mess here, but don't worry. We're going to get this all cleaned up really quick. Um, I'm really excited for you guys to see the first update. As you can see, I got quite a bit of progress done already. Uh, a little bit more than I planned because I've been stuck at home this past week. And so this mock actually might even be done a little sooner than I thought, but we'll see about that. Just working on some explosions. So I got to get all of my fire pieces cleaned up. <clears throat> Plus I got a giant package. I got a giant package in the mail today. I got two from Bricklink. So we're going to be going through at least one of those and kind of sorting the pieces out. I guess I should have cleaned this up sooner because this is an absolute mess. Okay. Let's see. Dang, you already made a ton of progress. Yeah, I've been busy. Um, I was kind of, I've kind of been in the building zone. This Umbara mock has been a lot of fun. The terrain is really difficult. So it's been a fun challenge to kind of go through and try and fit it all together. Let's see, is this going to be a weekly series? Yeah, so every Sunday I'm going to give you guys an update. So Saturday I'll probably stream, you guys can see me building, and then Sunday I'll give you guys a much clearer, more in-depth look at like what I did, any problems I had, and basically how the mock's coming along. So that'll be coming out every Sunday. What's up, Lego fan man? I just saw you in LWSA production stream. Thanks for swinging by. I'm working on this giant Umbara mock. Um, this is going to be the landing, the landing portion of the Battle of Umbara from the Clone Wars. So I'm going to have gunships over here, and then the Umbarans on that side. And we will get to do some building today, but as you can see, I have been a mess this week. I'm a messy builder, and so I need to clean things up really quick. And then I've got a giant package to go through, show you guys some parts that I bought. Can't wait for the mock to be done. It's going to look great. You should do a mock contest. Like, you mean I should enter it in a mock contest or I should host one? Because I, ha I have been thinking about hosting a mock contest when I hit uh, a subscriber milestone. I'm almost to 400. I think I'm at like 375. So... Thank you guys for subscribing and supporting and getting me to 400. So many pieces everywhere. Well, let's see. I love your mocks, mate. Thanks, man. Thanks. I appreciate that because I work hard on my mocks. Okay. I think I've cleared some space now for that package. Let me go grab it. Be right back. Okay, so as you can see, it's a hefty, one of those hefty envelopes, uh, big boy package. Um, let's see. Did you see the new Clone Wars episode? Yes, I did. And it was awesome. I don't know if anybody hasn't seen it yet. If everybody in the chat's seen it, we can totally talk about it. But if there are people who haven't seen it yet, I'll, I'll wait. <sighs> yeah, I really liked it. You should do. You should host a mock contest. Yeah, I'm. I'm thinking about it. I think that would be kind of fun. A lot of you guys on my channel 
filled with really good locks. Oh, it's a package inside of a package. Yeah. So I think it would be fun to see what you guys can come up with. This is a ton of parts, so it doesn't surprise me that this package is so big. There we go. Oh yeah, parts for days. So we've got a bunch of these six by eights. I've been waiting on these because I've been stuck back here. I ran out of black plate. So this is a, a must have. And then I've got some, looks like four by sixes. Really it's just all black pieces, a lot of plate. A lot of plate in this order, and then I got some of these tail pieces, and you guys can see that one of those little red spiders. I thought it'd be kind of cool to do a like put some animals, monsters in this mock. So might be kind of a boring package, but I'm excited because now we can get to building. I've got a bunch more plate as well. I think I had my plate sorted out into one of these bins. Yeah, here it is. Let's see. Where was week two, man? Are you talking about uh, this with my mock? I know I, I kind of got a ton of, ton of progress done more than I was expecting. But I'm glad you guys will get to see me doing some building today. Let's see. Don't speak words. I haven't seen it. All right. I won't. My lips are sealed, Ace. I won't say nothing. But I will say this. It was an incredible episode. I know everybody's really hyped about it. One thing we can talk about, though, is that new UCS A-Wing. I don't know. Are you guys hyped for that? Is that a hype? Is that a hype set or nobody really cares? I know I'm pretty I know I'm pretty excited for the UCS A-Wing. I don't know if I'll end up buying it just because it's so big and so expensive. I don't know where I'd put it and I don't know what I'd do with it. So I might not, I might end up not buying that, but we'll see. Um, looks good. Will you have General Krell in the mock? Um, probably not, just because I hate General Krell so much. <laughs> oh man, the way he treats the clones. Like, I know he's bad and stuff, but it still just drives me crazy. I don't know, maybe I'll have him... Maybe I'll have them being eaten by that giant beast with all the arms. I don't remember what it's called. It looks kind of like an octopus, but on land. I'm sure somebody probably knows what that's called. Um, is this is this the landing scene? Yeah. So this is going to be the very beginning scene when you see all those ATRTs and clone troopers storming Umbara. I'm going to have gunships on this side, and then we're going to have umbarings over there on that side. That A-Wing. Oh, sorry, I can't stay. Just wanted to say hi. I will finally have another clone base update. Hey, thanks for stopping by, man. It's good to see you. I'll keep my eye out for that update. Yeah, the A-Wing looks surprisingly good. Lego has really stepped up their game when it comes to UCS sets. Like these past few UCS sets have looked really, really good. And that A-Wing is no exception. Too bad it's $200. Let's see, I'm hyped for the U-Wing. I'm hyped for the 501st Battle Pack because I will raid the store, yeah. I would definitely, I definitely want to score some of those new battle packs as well. 
I'm not sure how many I'll get though. Honestly, I'm probably only gonna get two or three. Um, I wanna keep one sealed, sealed just because, I don't know, it's kind of cool that it's kind of like an iconic set. You know, we've been, people have been pushing for it for so, for so long and then we finally got one. So I wanna keep one sealed as a memento and then I'll probably buy one or two. I, I don't know, I prefer the old Clone Wars clones. I don't know about you guys. Like, I think the new ones look really cool. I'm just a bigger fan of the older ones for some reason. And so I'll be sticking with those. Oh, let's see here. It's weird. I checked in my country. The 501st Battle Pack isn't going to cost $40. Dude, that's weird. That sucks. It's only going to be 30 here in the U.S. That is most unfortunate, man. So when it comes to building this mock, I'm building it very differently than I did with Naboo. Uh, for those of you guys who were around when I did Naboo, you'll remember I started on this side and just like went this way with the building, uh, kind of like in a linear pattern but this build is kind of all over the place i started down here and i've actually gone up that way and um, i'm working all the way back there in the back as well and this is partly because um, i'm running out of certain pieces so i have to be careful where i, where I build and also because i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing over there down on that side so i'm kind of ignoring it for now until i get more pieces in so when you guys see this update, you're going to see there's going to be uh, progress kind of scattered throughout this whole mock. But I'm really excited to finally put out my first update. I've been planning this mock for so long and it's so refreshing to finally be underway and start building it. Let's see. It wasn't really anything exciting for the update. I feel really bad that I even posted a video about it. Are you talking about Agent Kloss? Well, it'll still be nice to see it because I haven't seen the mock in a while. So it'll be good to see it again. Uh, let's see. The A-Wing looks good, but not a set I need. The 501st Battle Pack is what I need. Yeah, I agree. The A-Wing is not a need for me either. So that's probably, I might end up getting it still, but there's a pretty high chance it'll just pass. It's a lot of money for just a set that's going to sit on my shelf and not do anything. What's up, Crazy Brick? There are like 12 people live, I know. I was a little hesitant to start my stream because I was like, I don't know if anybody's going to even join, but... Luckily, it looks like we got eight people in the chat, so we had some, we had, we got some good people showing up today. But yeah, everybody decided to stream today. Saturdays, Saturdays are the best day for me to stream, just because usually I have school and work during the week, and so Saturday is like the one day that I can kind of stream. So the tough thing about Umbara is, those of you guys who know are familiar with the planet, you know it's very rocky and it's not very flat. And so that's why building has been going a little bit slower because I need to add lots of uh, lots of craters and depressions in the ground, which is making for a very slow progress, but still making progress nonetheless. Is anybody else working on anything cool today? Let's see. What's up, Coruscant Guard? Welcome to the stream, my friend. I'm just working on Umbara. Opened a big package today, just barely on the stream, so now I've got lots of pieces to work with. Really sucks when you want to Star Wars mock, but you can never finish it. Agent Kloss is probably going to be the fourth one already for me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. For me, it's it's mostly I have to wait for parts to come in, and that's frustrating because it takes so long, and I can only buy so many parts, you know. 
I don't have an infinite budget when it comes to Lego. So I, I get that frustration, especially when you just want to build cool locks. Um, see you later, Sergeant Spears. Thanks for stopping by. What's up, G Bricks? Welcome to the stream, my friend. I'm working on Umbara. Hopefully, we're going to make some good progress today. Get a lot of this terrain done. And then I also, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek because you came out and joined me on the stream. This plant, you guys aren't going to see it for a few weeks. But what do you think of this? This is kind of like a Umbara looking plant. I don't know. Thought it looked kind of cool. Let me know what you guys think. LWSA has like 30 watching. Yeah, I bet he does. He's got like a thousand subscribers already. What's up, Finland Brick? Greetings from Finland. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Uh, how are you doing over in Finland? Right now, I'm just working on working on Umbara. Trying to make some good progress. Ooh, I'm building Battle of Helm's Deep Moth. Dude, that sounds awesome. I love that battle. That's one of my favorite battles from Lord of the Rings. That'll, that'll, that'll be really cool. Oh, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Brick Change Productions? Welcome to the stream. Driving home from work, but glad I caught your live stream. Hey, I'm glad you caught it too, man. You're always a delight to have on the streams. Right now, I'm just busy working on Ambara. I'm so happy to finally be started on it. So much black, though. I can't believe how many black pieces I've had to buy for this mock. It's like all the green pieces for Naboo, but now they're all black pieces. Good thing I've got plenty of filler brick. Well, let's see. Looks cool. Looks good. Pretty accurate. Looks like an awesome plant. Hey, what's up, Nolark77 Bricks and Builds? Thanks for stopping by. The plant looks really good. Thanks, Brick Whisperer. I'm glad you guys like it. Because, of course, like, I definitely... I have my own opinions and thoughts on what I'm building, but I always like to get the expertise opinion of my fellow Lego builders in the Lego community. Well, let's see. What up, partner? Just passing by to say hello. I have an exam in half an hour. Dude, good luck, my friend. Study hard. I guess the, the test's probably, you've probably done studying, but hopefully you do well. Hey, this is the only question I'm going to ask about the recent episode. What was the planet that they were fighting on the bridge? Um, that's a good question. I was going to go back and look up again what it was. I can't. At first, I thought it was Cato Neomoidia, but I don't remember what it's called. It's a cool planet, though. <laughs> This right here is probably one of the most boring stages of like giant mock building is laying down the, the base terrain. It takes so long and I wanna get I wanna get building on like the more detailed stuff and start putting the minifigs down. But gotta stick this plate down first. Well, let's see. Hope to finish it before you end before you end the stream. See ya, everyone. Oh yeah, sweet. Yeah, if you can make it back, that would be awesome. Um, flipping between four streams. So excuse me if I don't answer. Uh, don't worry about it, man. Uh, yeah, there's a ton of people out streaming right now. Hopefully, some of them will die down because I think some people have been streaming for a while already when I started. So maybe we we'll get some more people on them a little bit. Let's see. 
this build is like the complete opposite of Naboo with the pieces you can use. So ambitious. Yeah. It's funny you say that because originally I had planned to do a mock, another mock with all using the pieces from the boo. So I could, you know, conserve and try to save some money on parts. But that obviously didn't end up happening <laughs> because here I am building a Barra. I don't know. Like I, I probably should have done it that way, but I just didn't, I wanted to do something very different. And I wanted to do something with the 501st. Because I think they, I think that's a, they're a really cool battalion. And this was like back before the 501st Battle Pack was even announced. Because I've had people ask me if I plan on putting the new 501st Troopers in this mock, but I don't just because this mock will probably be done before that Battle Pack even, or before that set even gets released. <clears throat> I plan on having this mock done um, sometime in June. And I actually already have my next mock after this planned out, which I know is a little over ambitious, but I'm, I'm a planner. I like to plan. So yeah, we have good things, good things ahead for us on this channel. I gotta move this thing before I keep breaking it. Sorry, I just snapped off a couple pieces of my mock. Ace Gamer. Oh, Yurbana. Okay. Yo, what's good, Exo Trooper? Thanks for stopping by, my man. I'm just working on this giant Umbara mock. So this is my, uh, it's two base plates wide, and it's just longer than four base plates. So it's a real beast of a mock. I'm trying to get this terrain laid down so I can start working on uh, terrain detailing and like mini figs and other more interesting stuff. I think you guys might enjoy those future streams a little bit more because this one might be kind of boring. There we go. Also, I started working on, I don't remember what they're called, those giant, uh, they're like land octopuses. But this is the mouth that I've got so far, kind of that rounded shape. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool. I might do some modifications to it in the coming days. Cannot wait to see it, man. I wouldn't be able to build anything that big. Yeah, it's definitely something I've had to work myself up to. Uh, I did a lot of smaller mocks when I first started out, and then I really wanted to make a name for myself as a mock builder. And so I decided to finally jump into the big boy mocks, the big, the big mocks, kind of like the Solid Brick Studios. Man, I loved your Underground of Coruscant mock, though, Exo Trooper. I still think about that mock. Just those angles that you did, that was insane. That was some real Lego witchcraft right there. Is that the official Lego Republic gunship or is that a custom build? This is the 2008 Clone Wars version of the gunship. I have two of these, so I'm gonna have, um, I'm gonna have two of these in the mock and then one of those modified 2013 gunships. I would like to do custom gunships at some point, but to be honest, the gunship is a set that I've always wanted to try and build my own custom version. So I think I might wait to use a custom gunship till I have, till I can build my own. But there are some cool, very cool custom gunships out there. Let's see. Dude, I'm editing episode four at the moment. Nice. I look forward to seeing it. It's going to be sweet. 
Yeah, I've still got to finish. I got to finish filming episode one of Building Umbara. Probably finish filming that today. I have most of it wrapped up already. Just have a few things left to film. Let's see. What did you think of my Navarro? Um, I don't think I've seen it yet, Crazy Brick. I'll check it out after this stream. I'm trying to remember if I saw. I don't think I did, though. <clears throat> Started uploading on YouTube again. What made you decide to start uploading? Because I know you said you were kind of done because of the whole COPPA thing. Was it because... I guess COPPA really never really amounted to like we, I guess it didn't do what we thought it was going to do. We thought, you know, everybody thought we were all getting shut down and stuff. A good custom one that you all can take a look at is Lego Spencer. So are you talking about uh, gunships? What's up, Brictopotamus? Welcome to the stream, man. I saw you on uh, I saw you on Rich Boy Jay's stream the other day. You were talking with him. Do you do you know him? Like, are you guys friends, or did you just did you just get invited on the stream? Good thing I have so much filler brick from Naboo. Let's see. I'll be back soon. All right. See you in a little bit, man. Just finishing editing week six, update four. Oh, update is at four. Let's see. Just started sorting my Lego collection. Long overdue, but now that I'm now that I'm nearing one hundred thousand parts, dude, man, you got your work cut out for you, my friend. Oh, I don't even know if my collection's that big yet. That's insane. Also, that dang that Amara mock looks nice. Thanks. Um, you guys will get a much better view of it on Sunday. I hate how crappy the live stream feed always looks. But don't worry, I've got a much higher quality video coming out tomorrow. I'm just going to open the chat on my phone so I don't have to keep looking at the screen. There we go. All right, let's see. Jay invited me a few weeks ago, and we've just been talking, but now I don't know, know him in real life. That's cool. I, I tried to get him to check out my Naboo mock. I sent him a link on Instagram, and he said he'd check it out, but he never did. We're at 14 likes, one more and it's 15. Oh, nice. Yeah, if you guys haven't hit that subscribe button, don't forget to smash, or not the subscribe button, sorry, the like button. I use Bricksat and I'm at 90,000 parts apparently. Oh, are you talking about like from sets and stuff? Not just like bulk parts? Yeah. 
had a bag of oh, here we are. Do you think you will hit 500 set subs by the? Uh, do you think you'll hit 500 subs by the end of the summer? I would like to. That would be cool. It's hard to know, man. Like uh, YouTube is so volatile. Like sometimes I grow so fast and then I lose a bunch of subscribers and I stop growing. So I'm hoping I would like to hit 500 by the end of the summer. Um, especially because I'm going to be in finishing a bar around then. And usually when I finish a mock, like a big mock, I'll get an influx of new subscribers. But it's it's hard to know for certain what will happen. That would be really awesome awesome if I did though. Let's see. I sent him photos of my mocks because I knew he'd probably forget to check the link. Uh, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. I'm just really tentative because you know I don't want to be that annoying. The annoying uh, YouTuber who won't just leave him alone. Maybe I should uh, just send him some pictures of it, see what he thinks. Because I'd love to get feedback from like the big time mock builders to see what they think of my stuff, like see what I could improve on, what they liked, what I could do better, what they didn't like. Just restock Star Wars minifigs for my Bricklink store. What's the name of your Bricklink store, Finland Bricks? I'll check it out. I I love, or not love, but I make tons of orders on Bricklink. So I'll definitely swing by your store. Yeah, I destroyed a lot of my sets, but I also pick, uh, did a lot of pick a brick and Bricklink. Just blew my money on 600 tiles and plates. Dude, you better be working on something big. That's some... Some serious platage. Let's see. Be right back after running to get the mail. All right, dude. See you in a little bit. I really need to sort. I just build all my stuff with one sort of bricks. LMA. <laughs> uh, I think I'm down by at least 100,000 parts unsorted. Wow, you guys' collections are just insane. I thought I had a lot of Legos. I just barely started. Whoops! I just barely started collecting again. I had gone through a fairly long dark age where I wasn't really collecting, or else my collection would probably be bigger. Man, we got some serious collectors in the house today. <laughs> Jay is pretty nice, and as long as you don't want to be that annoying YouTuber, you probably won't be. That's good to know. Maybe I'll hit him up again. Uh, oh, it looks so cool. Thanks, French Cologne. Thanks for stopping by. I don't think I saw you on the chat yet, so welcome to the stream. Um, if you think this is cool, wait till you see tomorrow's update. You guys are going to love it. I'm telling you. This mock is something special. It's going to be really cool once it's done. And I freaking painted all over this brick when I was a kid, so now it's useless. What a waste. I was so dumb as a kid. Why did I do that? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen my Felucia mock. Don't be like Jay and not remember to check it out. <laughs> Dude, I love Felucia. I'll totally check that out. I'd love to see your, your mock. So right now I'm building this little crevice. It's probably kind of hard for you guys to see, but kind of goes dips down and then comes back up. <coughs> Excuse me, I need some water. You guys will get a better look at this in tomorrow's update, but... Um, I like to plan my hills and valleys ahead in the future because instead of just building like along this entire way with one level of plate, I like to dip down and go up. But that requires a little bit of planning and extra building. So you guys will understand better what's going on right here tomorrow when my update drops. Um, 
I've been collecting since two. My older brother has had a few since then, so 17 years. Wow. That's awesome. 17 years. Let's see. I started collecting when I was eight. Um, so I've been collecting for like 16 years, minus my dark age. So probably about 12 years. I've been collecting for 12 years total. My store name is Finland Bricks. Sweet. I'll definitely check that out, man. Been gone 11 years now with no dark ages. Wow. Wow, that's impressive. What's up, Scarlet Oil? Welcome to the stream. We are just tackling Umbara today, trying to get some good progress done. <clears throat> And kind of just showing you guys how I go about building my mocks and stuff. The mock to start a new dynasty in your Lego career. That's what I'm hoping. Um, Naboo was a great kickstart. I got, I got like close to 30 subscribers. It's probably 30 subscribers now from that mock, and it's got like 4,000 views. So these big mocks are definitely a good way to go. The only problem is they're really hard to do. You know, obviously I understand a lot of people can't just start building a giant mock like this. I put clay in my pieces to stick them together when I was little. <laughs> Dude, clay? Wow, even I didn't do that. That's interesting. Why, why didn't you just use glue to stick them together? Oh, this is what I was looking for. There we go. My first Lego set was the 84, 8014 Clone Walker Battle Pack, and that is still my favorite Lego Star Wars set. Dude, that's a good set. In fact, let me show you guys something. You're talking about this set, right, Finland Bricks? I have a, this is a sealed mint condition 8014 Clone Walker Battle Pack. I bought that one because, um, like you, Finland Bricks, that's a super nostalgic set for me. You know, that's like when when, when army building first became possible. And I think I bought three or four of them as a young lad. I absolutely loved that set. Well, I knew glue wouldn't come off. Well, hopefully the clay did. <laughs> So far, we know Ace hasn't seen the recent Clone Wars episode. Has anyone else not seen it? I watched it yesterday. I'll probably end up watching it again, though. It was that good. Anyways, I don't know what my next mock will be. I want to build... 12 gray base plate Christophsis, but I don't have the money for it. Ooh, that would be huge. How big was your Felucia mock? <clears throat> you should do uh you should do something from the new this last Clone Wars season. There have been some sweet planets. And those I bet are probably really popular right now. I've thought about doing one, but I don't know. I just love the original, the old Clone Wars battles too much. Right now, I'm just trying to make some good progress on Umbara. 
so far it's going going pretty good. Made some good progress. I had a package come in the mail today, so that bolstered my supply of plates. Okay, there we go. No way you have it in sealed. Yeah, it was just too cool of a set not to have sealed. I don't know. I just really wanted it sealed for some reason. I got one mostly complete one came out. Sorry, man. Got to go. Wish you luck on the lock. Thanks, man. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully, you'll be able to catch the uh, update tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be my first official Umbara update. I even made a, a cool little intro cinematic for you guys that I'm going to play at the beginning of each episode. I don't have the Clone Walker Battle Pack, but I have the Clone Commander figure from the set. Are you talking about the Phase 1 Trooper with like the, I don't remember what it's called, like the skirt. No, I think it's like a pauldron kind of looking thing on his neck. Well, let's see. My Felucia is almost six gray base plates. So it would be more than double. Dude, that's huge. I really am excited to check that out now. Been wanting to build Christophsis forever. I guess you could say it's my dream lock. I have 16 used, whoa. 16 used clone trooper battle packs. Dude, you must have quite the army. That's most impressive. You must be very proud. What's up, Adorier Lego Studios? Welcome to my building on bar stream right now. I'm just laying down some terrain work. It's kind of boring Not the most exciting stuff, but I figure the sooner I can get this done the sooner I can get into like the cooler I've Been working on some plants. So these are the two different kinds of this plant It's kind of leans at an angle and it's got the red and black and then I put this one. I put the little levers on it to kind of um Symbolize seeds, I guess. So this is one where like all the seeds got blown off or lost or flew away, you know So this one's kind of the one with all the seeds on it Oops, I'll show you guys how I built these in a future update. It's kind of cool got the idea from another Umbara mock I saw <clears throat> The waste piece is a comma is it camp camera or comma? Anyway, I'll be back in a bit. Got dinner. Enjoy your dinner, Exo Trooper. Hopefully, we'll see you back when you're done. I plan on streaming for a good little while, so we'll probably be back. I want to stream as long as I can because I have to go. I have to go work out once this is done. I don't want to go do that. Yeah, the clone with the visor, comma, and pauldron. Yeah. Yep. Okay, comma. Thanks. Misa back. Welcome to the stream again. Did you get anything good in the mail? Are you expecting any Lego parts? Man. Speaking of Gungans, I don't know what I'm going to do with my giant army from Naboo. I still have like, still have over 50 Gungans. I sold some of them. I think I sold four. But I don't know. You know, the Gungan market isn't really booming these days. 
So I don't really know what I'm going to do with them all because I don't know. I don't really want to do another Gungan mock for a while. Gungans aren't the most popular of Star Wars characters. I think a lot of people, there were people who didn't like my mock, my Nibu mock because of that. Are you going to be going to Brick Fair, Virginia? Probably not. That would be cool if I did, but I don't know. I wanna I wanna wait until I can like take a mock with me, showcase a mock. I think that would be really fun. <clears throat> and I'd love to meet like a uh, Solid Brick Studios and the Brick Wiz, Rich Boy J. I think it would be really cool to meet those guys. What about you, Brick Potamus? Are you going to Brick Fair, Virginia? I have sold almost every of my Phase One Clone Trooper because I want to grow up my Rohan and Urukai army. Oh, for uh, Helm's Deep, right? Yeah, those are some expensive sets. It must be leg day if you're dreading working out, <laughs> dude. It is leg day. Uh, I don't know, man. I hate leg day. Like, why does leg day have to suck so bad? Because usually it's got, for me, leg day has cardio mixed in with it. Uh, I got to go do some hill hill runs. Not looking forward to that. You know, I'm not as young and spry as I used to be. Yeah, I have more Gungans than I should. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I personally, I love the Gungans. I think they're probably one of my favorite alien species in Star Wars, but that's definitely not a shared sentiment for a lot of people in the Star Wars community. I'm bringing my Felucia, but mostly there for Max and Axis. Yeah, his Anaxis mock was really good. He's turning into quite the mock builder himself. He's going to be up there with Rich Boy J and uh, Solid Brick Studios very soon. That's funny. Speaking of Rich Boy J, I, I watch his videos a lot, but he always he always frustrates me because he all of his streams he always ends up arguing with people about the prequels. Wow, now I have 25 Rohan soldiers and 30 Urukai. That's awesome. I used to, I actually really enjoy the Lord of the Rings series. If if I ever do branch out into other Lego series, like serious collecting and mock building, it's definitely going to be Lord of the Rings. I loved reading those books when I was younger. And uh, I think those would be some really fun mocks to build. Nice. So I got two craters right here. I have to be careful where I plant the craters because I don't want to put them down underneath the gunships. I think I'm going to have a gunship there, there, and then like back there a little bit. The Gungans are cool. People shouldn't judge the whole species because of one idiot. Yeah, I agree. Like, I'm not a big fan of Jar Jar Binks. He's annoying. But I mean, the Gungan army and some of the technology they have is really cool. And so, I don't know, I wanted to pay tribute to them by building the boo. So I agree with you there, Nolark77. Lunges are the devil. Dude, lunges suck. Lunges, burpees, any kind of like jumping squat. I played uh, I played a lot of high school basketball, or I played basketball in high school. And so I had to do a lot of like plyometrics and jumping exercises. Oh man, those make your legs burn so bad. I 
I don't know when I'll be at Brick Fair or Brick World. Same here, Ace Gamer. I, I live far away from pretty much all of them. I live on the West Coast, kind of, and so it might be a while before I end up. I would love to go to Brick Fair, Virginia, though. That's kind of like, from what I understand, that's kind of like one of the more, correct me if I'm wrong, but one of the more popular ones, it seems. Like that one and then Brick Fair, Chicago both seem to be really popular. Welcome back, Crazy Brick. I'm still uh, still chipping away at this uh, at this Umbaran terrain. I almost said Naboo terrain. I'm just getting PTSD from all this green. Jay hates episode nine more than the prequels. So if you can get him to rant on episode nine, it's all good. That's true. That is funny. It's funny to hear him, listen to him argue with people about episode nine. He hates episode nine, which um, I saw a rumor that they might be bringing Emperor Palpatine into the Mandalorian season two. And my first thought was, oh man, rich boy Jay is going to lose it. I have 17 Urukai and six Rohan soldiers. Not bad. Yeah, that's not bad either. Those are such rare, like hard to find minifigures that if you have like any number of those guys, like you've got, you got yourself an impressive collection. I used to have some Urukai, but I sold them. You know, I had to get more money for the Star Wars stuff. That's why I didn't. Well, I'll get there when I get there, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Also, yeah, Homes Deep is one of my top five Lego sets. Those sets were awesome. They were. Um, I actually got the I got the Battle of Homes Deep for Christmas. But this was like right when I entered my dark ages, so I never built it. I kept it sealed for like three years. And then um, I gave it to my little brother for his birthday. Probably one of the, the greatest birthday gifts he's ever gotten because, you know, it's like a $200 set. And like, I don't know. I don't regret that, but I definitely would have liked to have that set now. But I mean, he, he used it. He played with it, so. I really don't care. Like, I'd rather that set got played with. Five Rohanians and 11 Urukai. Wow. You guys, you guys have a lot more, uh, a lot more Lord of the Rings sets than I realize. Played my guitar for an hour yesterday playing D major. You just kept playing D major over and over again. I'm pretty lucky. I'm 40 minutes from Brick Fair, Virginia, which is the biggest, I think. Dude, that's awesome. So you live pretty close to the Brick Wiz then, don't you? Or not the Brick Wiz, uh, Solid Brick Studios. He lives in Virginia, doesn't he? <laughs> Kevin, don't make fun of me. I'm a beginner. <laughs> I, I used to play the guitar. I, I don't know. I might be able to, like re like i might be able to remember some of the chords and stuff but i don't know i doubt i'd be very i doubt i'd be any good i also uh i've got a problem with my pinky um it when i when i close my hands like this my pinky can it gets locked back in this position so i wasn't able to hit i wasn't able to get to the note the right notes in time kind of a weird thing like who has a messed up pinky where it locks into place such a weird thing. I don't, don't know why it does that. I don't understand how Jay loves The Last Jedi, but not Rise of Skywalker. I know, right? Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I listen to his arguments, and from his, his point of view, I guess he's right. But from, like, other points of view, it's like they're kind of, like, the same... Like, I don't know, like, not the same movie, but 
I guess are pretty different in like the style and stuff, but I don't know, man. I agree. How could you like The Last Jedi but not Rise of Skywalker? Rise of Sk I do agree with him on like some of the Palp Palpatine stuff, but then like you've got to also accept the fact like the Holdo maneuver and I don't know, like three quarters of that movie took place in space. There's that whole random Canto bite scene. Like The Last Jedi had weird stuff that wasn't really pertinent to the story either. Six hours from Brick Fair, Virginia. That's not bad. I'm about I'm about 20 plus hours away from Brick Fair, Virginia. <clears throat> okay, now I think I need to raise up this whole level. Because right now I've been building one brick and one plate high. I think I'm going to have to step up to one brick and two plates high. Which is going to make things a little more complicated. In Finland, Lego prices are crazy. Crazy. Somebody was selling the Venator for 46. Is that uh, what do they use as currency in Finland? Finland bricks. That sucks though. That Lego is expensive. I've heard uh, from a couple people that like there's a lot of sets in Europe that are expensive. Yeah, I could drive to Solid Brick Studios' house in, a, uh, in an hour, but I wouldn't dare. Smart. That's a good move, man. <laughs> You don't want to be that guy. The diehard fan. Well, not over and over, but I, I did see, but wasn't going well. Gotcha. Does your brother still have Helm's Deep? Yeah, he does. In fact, two weeks ago, he sent me a picture and him and my dad, and I think a couple of my brothers, a couple of my other brothers were building it. I have like a million, million brothers. So yeah, he still has it. He was one of my my youngest brother. I think took it from him and like lost a bunch of the pieces. So he was pretty mad about that. But it seems like he was able to hunt most of them down. I hate Holdo so much. I was furious when I saw the Last Jedi for the first time. Yeah, I don't know. She was she was an interesting character. That's for sure. It was. The whole movie was very interesting to me. Like, I don't know. I guess I just I'm more of a fan of the Clone Wars and the older stuff. And I don't hate I don't hate the sequels. You know, like some people who hate them. I mean, at the end of the day, it's more Star Wars, and I'm happy with that. That we at least get more Star Wars. Star Destroyer. Yeah, that was that was pretty weird, not gonna lie. <laughs> that whole Exegol scene is weird. Like the so many just this massive fleet of Star Destroyers that came out of nowhere and I don't know. I try not to dig too deep into it. Because <clears throat> obviously I'm a prequels fan, so plenty of weird stuff in the prequels. I probably wouldn't be as big of a prequels fan if I was younger, but you know, that's what came out. That's what came out when I was a kid. Like I went and saw episode one in theaters. Like I remember when episode three came out. So like that's those those Star Wars are kind of like what my childhood involved around. Whoa. Are you serious, Finland Bricks? That's a lot of money. Holy cow. That's weird because, I don't know, it seems like a lot of people don't even like the Venator. I don't know about you guys in the chat, but I'm not a big fan of it. It doesn't look very good. Yeah, I liked The Force Awakens. The prequels are my favorite. The Force Awakens was pretty good. I also really liked Rogue One. That's probably one of my all-time favorite Star Wars movies. Rogue One was really good. They did a really good job with that one. Prequels era, yeah. Prequels era all the way. 
Yeah, they went through a tiny little red silver of clutter with tight spaces. What are you talking about, Ace? Solo is underrated. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people didn't like it. But I, I don't know. I didn't love it. And I honestly have only seen it once because I wasn't that intrigued by it. But it wasn't a bad movie either. Like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. Had some cool scenes. Darth Vader slaughtering the rebels in Rogue One was awesome. That was such a cool scene. That gave me goosebumps the first time I watched it. Because, <clears throat> you know, that's when we really got to see, like, Darth Vader in his prime. Because in the original trilogy, obviously, it was filmed back in the, what was it, like the 1980s. And so, like, CGI and other kinds of technology wasn't great. And I, I'm, they, you could tell they weren't really sure, like, Darth Vader was not the awesome, like, giant Sith Lord he is today. And so he's just, he's a little underwhelming. He's still cool in the original trilogy, don't get me wrong. But I don't know. He's definitely much more famed and feared now, I guess, now that we've got, you know, more backstory on him and we understand him better and, like, who he was. Solo was pretty good. Empire Strikes Back is my fave. That's a good one, too. Uh, Cloud City and then, of course, Hoth. That's a very, that's a pretty iconic battle. That might be one of the most iconic battle scenes of the original trilogy. Honestly, last time I watched A New Hope, too, I was not very impressed with it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's kind of weird. Like, four or five and six are definitely much better than A New Hope. And I wonder if that's part, I wonder if that's because A New Hope was supposed to be like a standalone. You know, like they weren't, I don't know if they, George Lucas was planning on doing a whole trilogy in the beginning. It didn't go well competing with Infinity War and Deadpool 2, and also many people boycotted it. Yeah, that's true. It was uh, it was pretty bad timing, which is unfortunate. It was kind of weird though that they released because they released the uh, the Last Jedi right, and then that April they released Solo. I thought that was odd. They released them so close together, and then had that you know, huge long break between Solo and Force Awakens. I'm just building a Separatist base mock. Dude, you can never go wrong with a Separatist base mock. That's cool. Uh, which planet is it on? Just build with bricks? Or did you make up your own planet? Honestly, I think A New Hope is a bit better than Return of the Jedi. Ooh, interesting. Why is that, Brickopotamus? Loved Rogue One. Have you seen the YouTube video where Reddit, where, where they redid the Vader Obi-Wan lightsaber fight from A New Hope? Yeah. See, that that's the kind of like Darth Vader that you know we now know and love like that's such a cool scene like the way they just redid it was so cool because the original one it's i don't know it's a little weird looks like a couple old guys you know whacking each other with their canes and then obi-wan kenobi just kind of pieces out <laughs> i really liked four it's a solid movie for its time yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a solid movie. I don't know. Maybe I was just expecting too much from it. I wish we could see more of Yavin 4. I really like that planet. Back a long time ago, I would actually was planning on building a Yavin 4 moth, but still hasn't happened. I watched Solo four times. It's one of those movies where you watch something, but you've seen everything else. You see Solo and you're like, okay. <laughs> it's the only thing playing, so you just have to go and see it again. 
I didn't like two. Yeah, are you talking about Attack of the Clones? Because that's got to be probably one of the worst, in my opinion, one of the worst movies to come out of Star Wars. Like, I don't know. I like the whole, it's got the whole beginning of the Clone Wars, which is cool and stuff, but the dialogue and the characters are just, oh man, it's so weird. Anakin's super weird in that movie. He's such a, he's always creeping on Padme. It's so weird. I didn't realize it as a kid, obviously, because I, all I cared about was the clones. And then I watched it again as an adult. And I was like, holy cow, Anakin is such a creeper. He needs to relax. <clears throat> A New Hope started it all, so no, you can't do that. <laughs> that is true. Credit where credit is due. Like, we wouldn't have any of this without A New Hope. Like, I'm not saying it's a terrible movie. I just, I think four and five are much better. Really didn't pick a planet. It's going to have a forest theme to it. That's cool. Yeah, sometimes it's nice to not have to, like, pick a planet, because then you can make it look however you want. And I know... Good amount of people just kind of make up their own planets. <clears throat> Turn of the Jedi <clears throat> jumps around a little more than I than it should, and not mu not much explanation. We see Slave Layer way more than we should. <laughs> uh, Episode six does jump around a lot. I like the indoor scene a lot. I like forest places. All right, I'm gonna take this and I gotta jump over to the other side of the table. I couldn't reach this end over here. Let's see, my favorite clone figure is old episode three clone trooper or both wolf pack troopers. Do you are you talking about the the phase two wolf pack troopers, Finland bricks, or the phase one wolf pack troopers? Those guys are so expensive. I did not realize how expensive wolf pack troopers were. To be honest, they're more expensive than like 501st Troopers on average. Like you can definitely find 501st Troopers that are insanely expensive. The prequels were bad until the Clone Wars came. See, I, I personally like episode one. That one's one of my favorites from the Clone Wars because I love, it's kind of boring as an action movie and it's slow, but I like it because uh, Emperor Palpatine is one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. And so you, you, really got, you really get to see like, it's a very political movie. And so from a political aspect, you get some really cool insight onto Palpatine slowly taking over, like how he manipulated his way into office. And so that's why I love episode one, and of course the Gardens. <clears throat> episode one and episode three are, are really good, and episode two is just, it's forgettable. <clears throat> What's up, nerd channel? Welcome to the stream. Right now we're talking about our favorite Star Wars movies and just kind of the pros and cons of each one. What about the Star Wars Christmas special from Forever Ago? Is anybody in the chat old enough to remember that? <laughs> uh, My list of the movies, ooh, here we go. Let's see. Five, one, nine, four, six, eight, seven, three, and two. Really, you've got three all the way down there. 
Why don't you like that one? Hey, instead of working out, you should try and join Jay's stream. <laughs> uh, that would be fun. I, I, I don't know. It would be fun to get on a stream with one of them and just, you know, talk Lego. The one thing I do like about Rich Boy Jay is he's very real. Like you always get, you always get his real take. That's something I try to do on my channel as well. I, I've, I've chatted on his streams and stuff, but for some reason he always seems to skip over. You know, he never sees my, the chats I leave. I'm like, I get it. He has a lot of chats to read. I just, I, I try to time them so that he'll see them. And he has seen a couple, but not a whole, not a whole lot. Man, I'm already almost out of plate again. These big mocks eat up so much plate. Phantom Menace was unique. Attack of the Clones was meh. Revenge of the Sith was enjoyable. Yeah, I think Revenge of the Sith was pretty enjoyable as well, especially now with these new Clone Wars. I won't spoil anything for you, Ace, but the new Clone Wars episodes really just, they add a ton of gravity to what's going on in episode three. It's really cool. You get a whole different perspective of what's going on during that. Revenge of the Sith was pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it was a decent movie. I think Anakin improved a lot in that movie. And that one was very important in showing, like, showing what's going on from Anakin's perspective. Because the Jedi just treated him terribly. Like, you know, never trusting him, always sending him out to go spy on Palpatine, like making him work and do all this stuff and not giving him the respect he deserved. I don't know. Like, as much as I love the Jedi and the Republic, I I wasn't sad when the, the Republic fell. Like, I mean, I was sad, but I knew, like, it was time for them to end. Like, they be, they become corrupt. Yeah, timing is pretty hard to get your comments read. It's a nightmare in solid brick streams. Yeah, because he never reads his own freaking chat. He always has Jedi Bob do it for him. <laughs> I've watched Revenge of the Sith five times during quarantine. Surprisingly enough, I haven't watched any Star Wars movies, and I don't really know why. I, I keep meaning to, and then I just don't for some reason. I've seen episode nine five times. Wow. I've only seen it once. Maybe I'll watch it again when it comes out again on Disney Plus and I need something to watch while I'm building. But probably not. Solo and Rogue One were enjoyable. I think I am one of the few who really liked Attack of the Clones. Ooh, interesting. Tell me more, Brick Change. I wanna hear I wanna hear your side of the story for Attack of the Clones. Because here's the thing, I love, there are things that I love about it. I really liked the Obi-Wan Kenobi arc, you know, where he goes after Jango Fett and stuff. I think for me, it's just the Anakin and Padme part is just so horrendous that it kills the rest of the movie for me. But there are parts of the Clone Wars that I really like. What's up, Emperor Bricks? Welcome to the stream. So right now we're just we're talking Star Wars movies. Like which one was your favorite, which one was your least favorite, and why? That's the most important part. Why? <clears throat> Welcome back, Exo Trooper. Hope you enjoyed your dinner.
Force Awakens was good. Last Jedi, somewhat okay. Rise of the Skywalker, just why, but enjoyable. Yeah, there were a lot of things in there that were just, why did you do that? I like Attack of the Clones. I thought it was all right, at least. I don't know. I guess I'm too just too much of a, like, I got to have a good story. Like, I don't know. The Anakin Padme thing was just bad. The writing was kind of weird. The clone troopers were cool. That was the first time you got to see the gunships. That was fun. All right, I've just sorted some white, green, and a little bit of brown. Only 85,000 parts to go. There you go, man. Way to look at it through a positive light. <laughs> What's up, real Ryan22? Welcome to the stream. I'm just working. I don't think I've seen you on one of my streams before, so I'm just working on a giant Umbara mock. And we're talking Star Wars. Which ones were our favorite? I wanted to see where was it? Quick change. The Battle of Geonosis and the political intrigue. I actually enjoy. The political intrigue is pretty cool. Um, but see, that's one of my favorite parts about the prequels, is because you get to see, like, okay, how did Emperor Palpatine's whole plan and empire come about? Like, get a real good behind the scenes look as to what happened. And you get to watch Jar Jar Binks fall right into his plans. <laughs> the end of, what is that, episode? Is that episode two when he gives Emperor Palpatine, like, emergency powers? Emperor Palpatine promises to like relinquish once the war's over. What a cunning dude. What are you up to today, Real Ryan 22? New Hope started it all. Empire was good. Return of the Jedi enjoyed. Welcome back, the Brick Whisperer. Still going strong, trying to finish up. I want to get, I would love to get all the way up to right here done. Kind of, this is like half of the mock right here. So it'd be nice to finish half the terrain. But we'll see. See if that actually happens. Some of these parts are a little bit tricky. So I have to really take my time and make sure I'm doing what I initially wanted and planned I was going to do. Okay, there we go. I want to put a giant hill <clears throat> down here on this side. So I'm trying to figure out how, how that's going to work, basically, because Lego hills are really hard to do for me. How much longer are you hoping to stream? Um, probably about a good 10 more minutes. we be wrapping it up here. I usually like to stream for about an hour and a half. I don't know about you guys, but I burn out fairly quickly on streams. Like I've streamed with some guys who will stream for like two and a half, three hours. That's that's a long time to stream. Plus, you know, I gotta go get those gains. My favorite Star Wars movie is Revenge of the Sith. I don't think it's quite as good as Empire Strikes Back, but Return of the or Revenge of the Sith, sorry, is my favorite to watch. Season seven of the Clone Wars will just add even more to it. Yeah, I 100% agree. The Clone Wars just really adds a lot, even to that first battle already. Like it's, it's just so different knowing like where they came from and just I won't spoil anything. You know, I keep saying that, but don't want to ruin it for anybody. But yeah, I agree. Where'd those two by fours go? <clears throat> I 
It adds a lot of gravity to episode three. Um, that lime green piece. Oh, this thing? Um, I was just messing around. I'd used it for uh, that giant... I don't still don't remember what it's called. It's that giant octopus thing on uh, on Umbara, and I was using it for the headpiece because I didn't have enough black pieces. But then I found some dark gray, so I took that one off. I need to put it back in its bin. Revenge of the Sith due to nostalgia. That's a yeah, that's a nostalgic movie right there. Plus, you get to see those 501st Troopers in action. Favorite is Return of the Jedi, just because I'm a space battle junkie and the nostalgia. Yeah, I was, I was really impressed with how much you knew about the Millennium Falcon when you did... Uh, I think it was your modification video for the Falcon. You were just talking about all the stuff they had done to it to modify it. And I was like, holy cow, I didn't know any of this. I was most impressed. So you must be a pretty big fan of Revenge of the Sith then, Brick Change. Because then you got that giant space battle as well. Two likes away from 20 likes. That's awesome. Let's see if we can hit 20 likes before I end the stream here. It's like we're getting pretty close to the halfway part, halfway mark too. Man, this is just so many, so much black plate. I'm excited for you guys to see this tomorrow in the update because it's going to look much clearer because it looks really good. And I've improved my editing and filming. And so with Naboo, some of the updates, I don't know, it just looks terrible because the video quality was really bad, but I fixed that. And so this series is going to be even better. I think I can fit these. Hey, space battles are fun. Like Anakin said, this is where the fun begins. Exactly. This is where the fun begins. And he was right. The fun began. Wow, I have a lot of dark orange. I didn't know about that. Dark orange, I'm not familiar with that color. Is there a dark orange? Oh, dang it. That. What do you use to film? I use this. This is my Google Pixel 2. I would like to get a camera soon. But those are mighty pricey. Right now, pretty much all my money has been going towards this mock. Maybe I'm trying to sell my, or I'm selling one of my ATO team dropships. So hopefully that'll be a nice influx of cash for the, for the Lego budget once that sells.
I have a crate mini mock coming Monday and Q&A on Wednesday and a review on Friday, maybe next week, seven for Asian Floss. Do you like doing the Q&A, Ace? Because I've, I've considered doing them for my channel. But I don't know if people would enjoy that. I don't know, maybe I'm just not that interesting. Cameras are worth it. I, I got mine for 600 mostly for Lego photography, but it works for YouTube. Yeah, I bet it does. I know it seems like most big YouTubers film from a camera, the exceptions of m &R. Do you have Instagram? Yes, I do. In fact, if you want to see like behind the scenes stuff or little updates, I would highly recommend hitting me up on Instagram. My Instagram handle is just my channel name, Coconut Brick Studios. And so I'll post a lot of stuff on there that sometimes doesn't make it onto here or I'll give early updates on there. So I try to make it fun and interesting, you know, make it worth people uh, joining or following me. So starting to look really good. I'm excited one for once I get all the my plate pieces because then I can really fill this out. I'm excited for you guys to see this. I've got some real fun techniques to share with you guys on building good terrain and stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> I do, but my Q&As haven't been doing well lately. I've pushed the series back to every two weeks. I have Insta and the Discord server. I didn't know you had Instagram. I think I might be following you. If I'm not, if I'm not I'll definitely hit you up after this. Welcome back, G Bricks. We're getting so close to being halfway done with the terrain here. I'm just not sure if I want to go up another level of plate or not. Just saw first order Lego's new vid. Is that the was that the time lapse of him building that mock that's all gray? So that mock looks really cool. Somehow the Instagram I have set up for my channel has more followers than I have subs. I didn't know you were on Instagram either. I'll have to find you too. If anybody wants me to follow them on Instagram, just let me know. Because I think I'm pretty much I'm probably subscribed to everybody on YouTube already. Yeah, Instagram is a great way to build followers. I've gotten a lot of subscribers from Instagram. I have... Uh, a tile that doesn't look good though. I have one. I'll hit you up, man. All right. I'm not sure what I'm going to do right here. So I think I'm going to end the stream now and plan this part out. And then hopefully next week we will figure out what's going on over here and you'll see some more progress. I'm going to come back around. Let's see. Okay. Thanks everybody for stopping by Tiled River. Sorry, I forgot to put that in there. Oh, okay. I was wondering what you were talking about. I'll be interested to see it. I do love, I like rivers and stuff. It'll be cool to see what you did. Thanks everybody for stopping by. It looks like we hit 20 likes. Way to go. That's awesome. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for tomorrow's update. It's going to be sweet. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by, everybody.